the things ushers adapt quickly. One thing I tried to teach them, the art of the pivot. When life hands you lemons. Make lemonade. No. First you roll out a multimedia campaign to convince people lemons are incredibly scarce, which only works if you stockpile lemons, control the supply, then a, a media blitz. Lemons are the only way to say I love you, the must-have accessory for engagements or anniversaries. Roses are out, lemons are in, billboards that say she won't have sex with you unless you've got lemons. You cut the beers in on it. Limited edition lemon bracelets, yellow diamonds called lemon drops. You get Apple to call their new operating system OS Lemon. Little accent over the O. You charge 40% more for organic lemons, 50% more for conflict free lemons. You pack the capital with lemon lobbyists. You get a Kardashian to suck a lemon wedge in a leaked sex tape. Timothy Chalamet wears lemon shoes at Cannes. Get a hashtag campaign. Something isn't cool or Tight or awesome? No, it's Lemon. Did you see that movie? Did you go to that concert? It was effing Lemon. Billy Eilish, OMG, hashtag Lemon. You get Dr. Oz to recommend four lemons a day and a lemon suppository supplement to get rid of toxins because there's nothing scarier than toxins. Then you patent the seeds. You write a line of genetic code that makes lemons look just a little more like tits, and you get a gene patent for the tit lemon DNA sequence. You cross pollinate, you get those seeds circulating in the wild, and then you sue the farmers for copyright infringement when that genetic code shows up on their land. Sit back, rake in the millions, and then when you're done, and you've sold your lempire for a few billion dollars, then and only then you make some fucking lemonade. Okay, my friends, what you just watched here is not just a diabolical skit from a movie, but as we have covered many times and you have probably seen, it is something called the externalization of the hierarchy. No one sat down as a screenwriter and just came up with this on their own. This is something you have to have prior knowledge to as to how the world works. What we are trying to unveil to anybody and what I have been trying to help people understand for almost 20 years now and what I have unveiled in the book Reason to Believe is that they must externalize how they control you, they must externalize how they are deceiving the world through whatever witchcraft means they do, and then you must accept it without rejection. And it doesn't matter whether they hide it in movies or how they may put it out there. This is the trickery. This is the Kabbalistic black magic that is used to fool everyone. So. Just as you see here, the Black Eye Club, uh, this goes on for many, many people within certain clubs to keep them silenced. This particular formula that you just watched from the ushers is very bizarre, isn't it? Diabolical. It actually makes you feel extremely uncomfortable that someone would even think this way. But unfortunately, these black magicians do, and they are controlling the world that you are allowing them to control, which includes Christians and the entire society of Christian nations have been deceived and taken over by this. Many of you who follow this channel understand this completely and are quite aware of these types of things. And some of you are just now starting to wake up. If you follow any narratives from Tartaria, 
the mud flood to the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, you are starting to wonder and trying to figure out how could a group of people, how could they take over and then fool the world? What kind of formula could they use and what methods could they use to deceive everyone? How could they think on so many levels to diabolically take control of an entire society? But as you have just watched in this clip, we believe that these individuals have gotten help from outside sources. Call it witchcraft, call it divination, call it contact with other beings, be it demons or fallen angels. They have used some source for higher knowledge in how to control society. I want you to understand something extremely clear, though. These people do not control you if you don't wish for them to control you. Jesus Christ gave everyone the power to no longer be deceived by the wiles of this world and the wiles of the devil. But part of the hierarchy in the laws between these watchers and God <clears throat> until the time of the end is they must reveal anything they are attempting to do to mankind and through our free will if we accept it then they have power over us now you are becoming awakened to what they are doing and how there is a formula to this don't you find it strange that some presidents and some u.s senators even the pope actors and actresses all get punched in the face in the left eye how many times have you got a black eye since you were a child or even a young adult how, how many times in your left eye have you got a black eye uh, as an adult <clears throat> probably very rarely has that happened and the fact that these people are probably in a certain level of secret society and this is an initiation a keep quiet symbol and also a symbol to the rest of the world people all around the world who know what this is it is a symbol that all they have to do is stand there and that black eye says hey I'm in this club, but also I am under the control of keeping silent about a particular event. And if I go somewhere and the hierarchy of this group hears or finds out about me squealing on things I shouldn't be talking about, you know what to do to me. And these people with their black eyes know that uh, if they go somewhere if they start squealing out they start telling some of the dark secrets they uh, are under an oath that will allow other people just like uh, the oaths in the Masons uh, will allow other people to go ahead and help them be quiet and the black eye is just a small symbol of what will happen to them. So, you know, how does Mark Zuckerberg end up with the black eye? How does the Pope, how does President Bush, how do all of these people end up with the black eyes? I believe it is the organization, the Keep Quiet Club. You see, what is going on? is that the world is under the spell, just like the Bible talks about uh, in the book of Revelation, that even the elect could be deceived and that there could be a great delusion or spell that could fall over the entire world. As you can see in the top left corner, it says all of your elected officials serve the same master. Here they are wearing a tiny hat 
at the ancient wall to the temple of Jupiter. This was not the temple uh, of God uh, back in the old days. Jesus said there wouldn't be one stone left upon another of that temple. What you're looking at is a fake temple for the Kabbalist who worship a different God than the one in the Bible. The, the Talmudists believe there is a God above the God of the Torah. They don't tell you that when the pastor is screaming at you on the TV telling you if you don't bless Israel, you are going to be cursed. All their Schofield Bible bananas and their funding coming from uh, Isis Ra'el giving them money to promote their Zionist agendas so Americans and Christians will support sending billions of dollars overseas to people who don't support and in fact are anti-Christ. Think of the oxymoron of being a Christian and believing an ancient uh, scripture 2,000 years ago, a one-sided covenant where uh, God blesses uh, these people who are no longer actually Semites. They are Ashkenazis and Spanish uh, converts who have no genetic, uh, no genetic connection going back to the ancient Hebrews at all, <clears throat> and they have they have uh, subverted and hijacked this pseudo out exterior religion while practicing another one underground which is the worship of a different god not the one christians believe in but a god above what they believe a god that is above the god of the bible and you see all these officials over here all of your elected officials serve the same master kabbalistic black magic controlled uh, talmudic judaism practicing Kabbalah and so you see over here to the right you have looked at these images for thousands of times in magazines and pictures thousands and thousands of times you have looked at celebrities being told to cover one eye for a photo shoot and do this image of 666 now just take that in for a second. It doesn't mean that these celebrities worship that, as some of them do, but some of them are mind control slaves, trauma-based mind control slaves who have been abused by the same type of system that comes up with in the initial remarks you sold here from the ushers. Uh, these people are using a ritualistic abuse to create trauma-based mind control slaves and they have split personalities much of them just as you have seen Britney Spears and others when their programming breaks down and part of it in the right here you see uh, monarch and you always see these butterflies on them just like Johnny Depp has you know he has a bluebird and then he has a, a, a monarch butterfly tattoo on, tattooed on him when they trauma-based mind control somebody to such an extent what happens is it's like the feeling of your soul leaving you um, like a butterfly and that's why they call it the monarch programming as you can see this girl uh, she has tattooed sad girl on her hand isn't that strange right so we have been living through this as these extremely evil people um, have been trying to take over the world they've been keeping us suppressed they've hidden all of our history and they're using black magic to try to control us and now that all of this is starting to break down and that people are becoming awake to it i believe they're planning and trying to create another reset um, perhaps this happens over and over again as society grows and people start to realize things and then they plan another reset before uh, people decide to start coming after them instead of fighting amongst themselves because uh, you know 
people want that Epstein Island list. They don't want Epstein. He's gone. They want that list and they want to know what's going on. And uh, now that we're realizing that services like uh, the Jewish Family Services is smuggling uh, all the children into America uh, through the border and through NGO money coming out of America to Israel and back, and they're uh, they're literally um, taking money and laundering it through this Jewish family services, smuggling children and smuggling fighting age men into America. It's an act of war. They're smuggling them in here and they're laundering not millions but billions of dollars through that organization to try to bring down America. And here we are, we're supposed to help support Israel, help protect them from Iran and Iraq and Lebanon. And uh, I think America is beginning to wake up and we don't want to give them any money. I think World War II was a big enough sacrifice to help them get where they're getting and draining our economy dry at this point, using black magic to fool us through Hollywood and the music industry and all of this stuff you see on the screen. You can, you can figure out where it's all been coming from now and which books, which forms of witchcraft books have been used. Uh, and I think, you know, I think Americans, at least, at least Christian Americans are waking up and we're sick of it because this is not, we, this is not the God we serve. And we're waking up to the God Jesus warned us about, uh, Jesus warned about these people who said they were of their father the devil hey guys thanks for watching this video with me today I'm Dan Collier and I have been your host for the sons of light and this revealing content I've been at this for almost 20 years I wrote a book called reason to believe that unveils and unmask all of this stuff and it has been a pretty good hit with people reading it. They have enjoyed it quite a lot. Now, it is not enough for you just to read a book. You need to really unveil all of these things that they are doing. And what I have done, because it is a formula on how they do it, they use a systematic plan of witchcraft, to take control of all events and then carry them out. What has been done is what you have watched at the beginning here from the ushers talking about making lemonade is a type of systematic formula on how these individuals have taken over the world and fooled everyone for the past, let's say, 200 years. And so what I have done for you is back engineered this formula so after studying this for 20 years and going into very uh, very much in depth about how they are doing this created for you a formula that you can use to take any situation something that comes on the news something that gets reported something that let's say they want Americans to go to war or they want you to do this or that or food prices go up or an election is rigged or whatever they want you to take a new one of these to protect your family and to help explain to your friends and people you want to protect even if you want to try to help save your country created this formula that you can use to back engineer what they're trying to do what they're saying and the steps they will probably take to carry it out and how you can protect yourself through knowing this information. Now, the formula will go back into the past and, and look at whether they have done the same exact thing before, um, such as the event in 2020 that caused everybody not to be able to go to work or they had to get one of these and all that stuff. And Look at what happened during the Spanish flu and these things being repeated, etc. So this formula I made available to you. I also created a prompt 
for AI. I know some of you old fuddy-duddies out there think AI is like um, foosball from the devil. I don't know what AI is exactly right now, and typically it is uh, typically it is woke, and you try to get it to do anything for you or ask it questions, and it will give you extremely woke answers. Unless you know how to prompt it to do what you want. And I have created a formula prompt that you can plug into AI so that it can search through history, it can search through events, it can even predictively program or predictively look at the outcome based off those events instantly for you. So you can sit and analyze it and search and do research for you know, a month or so trying to figure something out. Or you can use this AI formula prompt that I created based off of this and save yourself, uh, you know, a few months or even a year's worth of work. I've got 20 years at this, so uh, I was able to put this together for you. So what you watched in the beginning, it is uh, their externalization of the hierarchy And if you want to protect yourself and you want to start to reveal and expose what they're doing, and I know you do, then I'm going to leave a link to uh, so you can get this formula. You can use this formula as well for podcasts you're doing. You can use this formula to uh, show your friends and give them a scenario or a printout of things. You can use it to write uh, articles with uh, whatever it is. It is an extremely useful tool for you to begin to expose how they are doing things. I can't say that it's going to predict the future or that it's going to be 100% right because sometimes they have to change their plans based off of other events like you exposing them. Bank robbers are not going to rob the bank once their plan gets exposed. Do you get it? All right, so I'm going to leave a link to that formula. Also, I was going to inform you today that we have a new private group called the Truth Council. Now, this is a private group where you can go and share information, just like we're researching. And you can do it in a private setting where you don't have a bunch of trolls or goofballs or dirtbags or whatever names you might call them. There's even people who get paid. Chinese people, the Chinese government, pay people so many sent to go on and make uh, derogatory comments against anybody trying to uh, oppose the Chinese government. But the government has people uh, all over the world, but mostly in the United States and Israel, that monitor comments and different things that anything that starts to expose what's going on, you'll have somebody, you'll even have a group of people sitting in the basement of a JCC. Uh, with a bunch of computers who go online and start commenting and contradicting and creating chaos within discussion groups and things like that, you would have never guessed, like, who is this person? Where did they come from? Why are they saying all these things? Well, they're being trained to do that and doing it on purpose. They even have military people who are trained to do that, create chaos. If you get popular enough and if they can't control you, then they simply start pressuring, you know, uh, the social media group or whatever to censor you or kick you off. And this has been how things have been going. And so now that you know about it, you know how to begin combating it so that they can't keep silencing you and shutting your bank accounts off and whatever tactics are doing and take the fight back to them. It's always happened this way. For 2,000 years, they keep getting exposed subverting governments and taking away people's rights as they keep pushing to try to bring in their uh, against Christ Messiah. So here you go. Um, I'm not. Anyway, join this group. It's called the Truth Council. I'll leave a link to it. It's on a platform called School. And after you join, be sure to check out the courses platform because it'll say community and then it'll be courses so that you actually can take and learn these courses and learn a bunch of stuff. We'll keep adding to that as we go along. So it's not only a discussion platform, but it's also a learning platform with everything from uh, regaining your health, from how they're trying to destroy your health, uh, to profit off that, to 
uh, learning what they're up to, um, trying to uh, use big pharma to make you sick, and also the mind control stuff, you name it, uh, everything that is trying to destroy our lives. I want you to be free. I want you to live as Jesus said we should live, and I want you to understand what's going on. So joining this group where it's a family and boy, can you learn a lot from, from a whole group of people sharing things they have learned who all think alike without these trolls and these weirdos and these paid bots and whatever who come on there and sidetrack everything. So, all right, guys. Thanks. This is Dan Collier for the Sons of Light and the Truth Council. See you soon. Thank you.